What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jay. Love, and I'm back with you with a YouTube video. And today I will be talking about Bad Asta, my experience as being a freshman. And I'm gonna be doing a little mukbang too with my little seafood. So I'm just gonna talk about it and tell you everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the video. So personally, Bad Asta to me is a straight school. Like, but I say it's a good school. It's it's what you make it, honestly. Like if you're gonna come here and be antisocial, it's not a school for you because like I can't explain it. That's for every school, honestly. Like you can't just go to a school and be in your room all day and not talk to nobody and expect you to have a social life. Like you're gonna be depressed. So and at one point I did do that. I didn't talk to nobody. I stayed to myself and I got depressed. So you eventually find that little group of friends. They're gonna come and go though. You're gonna be friends with them the whole semester, the whole year. Y'all gonna fall out. But you're gonna find a little group of friends. Y'all gonna have fun. But the school is a good school overall. But socially, you have to get out there and meet people and talk to people. You can't, it's not a school where you can just be to yourself and expect people to come up to you. Like, I can't explain it. It's like, you got to go out there. And they have events on campus. They have a lot of events on campus for students. They all, all the time they have events on campus for students to be social. But you got to go. They're not going to force you to go and beg you to go. They might send you an email. If you don't go, you don't go. You miss it, you miss it. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. And I feel like that's what college period. You just gotta be social. Like, yeah, it's it's fun to me. It is not an HBCU, so of course you're not gonna have that HBCU feel, but that's why black people that go here. And that makes it fun. It's a lot of parties, you know on the weekends at different type of clubs. So you're gonna have a lot to do, period. You gonna, you gonna have a lot to do. Okay, now that we at the social part, cause I know that what y'all wanna know about the parties and all that. Let's get down to the nitty and the gritty. Okay, the application was fine. Anybody can get accepted to vet off the state. I'm not even trying to say that in no funny way. But you can easily get accepted. As long as you got a good GPA, you good. You don't even worry about the application. You're going to get in, period. If you're looking at this and you think about applying to that so you don't know if you're going to get in, you're going to get in. So that's good. Housing. I, I don't know what to say. Me personally, I don't like Langdale. This is where I stay. And y'all, that ghetto. And it be roaches. Like, y'all. And we got community bathroom, so that's don't mind my room because I'm moving out, so that's why I look the way it do. But it's community bathrooms. It's not the best looking. It's not a lot of space. If you worry about the COVID, your room may get COVID. You're gonna be sitting in the room for two weeks quarantining. So I would suggest nothing like this. Now the other dorm house. Okay, so we got Landale, Hopper, Georgia and centennial now with hopper and georgia hopper is like okay i'm gonna rank them you got centennial which is like a student apartment then you got um georgia coming at the second base now they nice it take a little minute to get in there so if you're trying to get a um go if you're going to bed also you're trying to get a house i would suggest you going to georgia baby then you got Hopper. Hopper, they like the third runner up after Georgia. They nice. They don't got community bathrooms. Centennial, Georgia, and Hopper do not have community bathrooms. Then you got Langdale, baby. The ghetto or the ghetto. If you trying to turn up, be try that, like everybody be wet. Baby, Langdale is where it's at. I'm telling you. 
lame bells where it's at. You trying to be in the ghetto. But we be having fun. Though. Like they have a lot of events in the building, period. And the RAs, they're my dog. So Lane Dale Fire, but they get out. Like they need to renovate this because it's the sink, it's the sink in the room for me. It's a community bathroom for me, cause no. Like they come in, they clean them up, but not I don't know. It's like when you come to college, you will see that everybody's not raised like you. Like their hygiene and how they clean up behind their stuff. I'm sorry, but y'all need to hear this. I've seen dirty pads left in the bathroom, rolled up in the bathroom stall, in a little corner, like tampons hanging out, doodle all in the toilet. Like y'all, females be nasty. And that's one thing that I don't like about this. Everything else is fine, but the, they need to renovate. Then you got um, Lowndes, Patterson, they ain't even got no no elevators in there. So you're going to be, if you move into Lounge or Patterson, you're going to be using the stairs to bring your stuff up in a cart. And no, I don't suggest Lounge or Patterson. They're way smaller than this. The beds are side by side. So I would suggest you get a semi-private where you share a bathroom with somebody, but y'all got your own rooms. And that's with Hopper and Jordan. And Centennial are mostly for upperclassmen that want an apartment. So, yeah. Okay, next, we're going to talk about the professors. <laughs> um, A lot of them don't care whether you pass or not. They're going to make it hard for you. But majority of, them, majority of them, like the good ones, they do care about your education. And they want you to pass. And with college, period, Nobody is forcing you to do anything. Like, they will give you assignment, and it's on you to be organized and to go through with your stuff and do what you got to do. But if you don't, you're messed up. So, it's definitely a big adjustment. I did dual enrollment, so I know how college is now. But to people who've never been in college, a lot, a lot of people, I'm bad, a lot of people flunk out because they don't know how to organize themselves. So, and with COVID... Y'all, everything's online. So you be having so many assignments due at the same time. It be like, ooh. But, I don't know, bro. I'm trying to see what else can I talk about, about the school. Like, the school overall, it's a good school. Oh. Um, now, because this is a PWI, regardless of who watching this, I don't care. For, for my people of color, you're going to encounter people that are very biased towards you and make racist remarks. Now, let me say this. It's not about what you say. It's how you say it. And a lot, a lot of people come off as racist, but I'm not going to say nothing, but they do. And it's a lot of our people who are very brainwashed. They don't care about that, but I do. And that that's just a mess. But y'all be prepared. When you come to a, a school where it's predominantly white, you're going to have stares. You're going to have people look at you a certain type of way sometimes. But it's all about your reaction on the situation. Me personally, I choose to look you up and down and keep doing what i'm gonna do i also just you fighting and doing all of that because it's never worth it you know what i'm saying we got to be strong but don't let nobody run over you period um next thing dang i forgot what i was gonna say oh this is the next thing about cars now if you trying to convince your parents to get you a car and you're going to that off state Please show them this part. Now, mama and daddy, if you're watching this, I know you want your your child to get around on campus, but Vadasta is the size of a penny. The Vadasta State is the size of a penny. They can walk on this campus and be on the other side in two minutes. But think about Vadasta State, they don't have a lot of stuff on campus. Like, if they want to go to the store, it's a lot of stuff that's off campus. And the bad thing about that is our parking deck is so far away 
from the dorms. Like, they stay in Langdale. It's a good six-minute walk to the parking there. And recently, they just had a um, meeting with students and the police officers to talk about, you know, things that they can work on. And I was personally in that meeting. And I heard a lot of things about the safety of black students. And I feel like it's not talked about as much as it should be on this campus with the elections happening then. That's why they had the meeting. Because election the elections were going on. So they put up these big old, big old lights at Bethesda State, but not around the parking lot. And if you come to school, if you're visiting, look at the parking deck and look how it's set up. The Oak Street parking deck. Late at night, it is unsafe. It's a lot of blind spots. It's a lot of homeless people that roam around the bottom of the parking deck. And personally, I don't feel safe walking by myself. I've never walked by myself in the parking deck. I always have to have a... I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, I always have to have a friend with me every time I leave the parking deck and go into the parking deck. Because, especially when it's late at night, it's so many blind spots over there and I don't understand why they don't have the proper lights over there like it's like and then it's like the police officers don't even be in their cars like they have their cars on the second floor of the parking lot just park but it don't be no police officers out there they're more worried about if somebody's smoking weed than if somebody getting sex trafficked and getting kidnapped and i'm just being honest so i would suggest them get a car because walking anywhere on this campus is not safe that also is open. It's no, it's no gates anywhere. Anybody can walk on this campus and do what they want to do. It has, it has been several complaints where students felt unsafe on campus walking around. And me personally, if I were to send my child to Vedal State, they they would have a car. It's not a necessity, but it's more as, as of a safety issue. Like you don't want your child trying to catch an Uber and you know, do all this and that just to go somewhere. Like, you want to know that they're going to get there safely. And you could download apps on your phone to track the car and do all of that. If that's what you feel safe. I mean, what you feel best for your child. But I would suggest them having a car. Because I don't know how I would have made it if I did not have a car. It's a lot of And they have buses. They do. That run on certain days for you to go places. But out of my own safety, I would want to be in my own vehicle. And not have to worry about where my next ride gonna go. And they using up all their meal swipes at the student union. Mm. Let me talk about that. The dining hall trash. Food is disgusting. They got some good food on my Thursday when they be having chicken and all that, but don't let nobody lie to you. Hold on. Don't, don't let nobody lie to you and say this, um, the food at Bad Austin down how good. It's not. And you're going to be using most of your meal swipes at Chick-fil-A, Moe's, and Starbucks in the student union. And you're going to get tired of using your money. Oh, they got some other little sandwich place, too. Which, which? They sell, like, so, like little Subway sandwiches. You've been a... What I did, I used up all my little swipes. Now I ain't got no more. And I don't want to eat at the down hall because it's disgusting. So if you buy meal plan, buy more... Swipes for the student union and not for the dining hall. Because people going to shoot a cup with you, but you don't need to be um, wasting your money. I have like, what, 300 swipes left? Because I don't eat that. I don't eat there. There's no point in me eating there and wasting a swipe. I don't eat there. It's disgusting. Mm. I don't want y'all or y'all parents wasting money. And next semester, I'll be moving off campus into an apartment. Cause it's cheaper and I need my own space and I can't keep walking back from that parking deck. And then y'all, let me tell y'all, if you get a car, they charge, they charge you $50 for parking. Only at the parking deck. Monday through Friday, you got to park your car at the parking deck. Friday at the four o'clock, you can park your car in front of Langdale and the parking spot's up there. Other than that, you cannot park your car there or you will get a $20 ticket. But let me tell you what they messed up on that. And that's where, that's where I go into play about the safety. Now, one day, I came back from Albany Lake, which is where my family stayed. 
and it was around one o'clock when I reached to that Austin. Now, you being a student, it's pitch black dark at night. Dark at night. You're a black woman. You're 18 years old. Would you park your car in front of this, in front of your your hall where you stay at, where you can just walk straight to it, or would you park at a parking lot that's six minutes away where you gotta walk in the dark by yourself? I didn't know any resources about the police department, how they can walk you to your dorm. Nobody never told me anything about that. So I didn't know anything about that. I don't see the police officers out there as it is. So how am I supposed to know that they're going to walk me to my dorm? Which is cap. I've never seen nobody do that. But they say they will. But I parked in the handicap because that was the only thing that was available. I parked it in front of the, um, the thing. They gave me a $100 ticket. I sent them an email. I told them my situation. And when I felt unsafe, they didn't care. They still charged me a hundred dollars. They could have just asked me to come up there and hear it from myself. Cause I really felt unsafe and I was not walking. Of course we paid the ticket, but being a college student who don't already have money, you know what I'm saying? Saved up and don't have a support system to pay that money. I feel like that was wrongful for them to do something like that. But hey, you know, this is exactly why I'm moving off of campus. Because I, I don't want to deal with this. It's too much. Then when you get groceries, you're going to carry your groceries all the way from the parking lot to the school, to your dorm hall. Or the police going to help you with that too. Y'all, don't, don't just listen to the bad stuff. Because it's, it's not all bad. It's just that. And anybody can say how... Huh, that parking deck situation and all that going back and forth is not good. I don't know. I feel like they need to have it a little bit closer and a little bit safer. Other than that, I like school. Once you find your little group of friends, y'all chilling, y'all hanging. Hopefully, if you, hopefully y'all don't fall out the second semester. But if y'all do make it work, it's gonna be fun. Cause I'm gonna end this video. Please remember, the parties can wait. You don't have to go to a party every day because there's going to be a party every day. The parties can wait because half of the time it's going to be 5 or $10 to get in. So you're going to be using your money. The parties can wait. Remember that your work comes first. And if your friends don't understand that, they're not your friends. They call you born. Okay, so what? You need to make sure that you pass. So, make sure... You get your work done first and put your work first. Don't come to this school trying to run behind no boy. <laughs> Please don't, because I see that too much. If your boyfriend go to this school, or y'all both plan to come here, you will see that true self come out. This ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just speaking on stuff that I see. People change. People meet new people. And you're going to get jealous. Now, a lot of relationships do last when you're in college. I'm not going to lie, so I'm not going to put that down. But I do see a lot of cases where females come here with their boyfriend and they become a whole different person. Don't spit the no love here because you're not. These boys, the mentality of these boys at this school, they're young. They want to go out and have fun. I don't blame them. We young. So, they're not going to want to be tied down with you. So, be smart about making your decision to come to a school where your boyfriend goes and set boundaries if y'all going to do that. And be smart. Don't hurt yourself coming somewhere where you know you won't have a good education and stay focused and end up messing up your career and your path. Because trying to drop classes and retake them, no. So... Make the decision for you what school you want to go to, not for nobody else. Don't follow behind nobody. Because remember, you're going to be at this school for four years, not now. So, I wish y'all the best of luck if y'all come here. We can link, we can have fun. You know, I'll show y'all around campus. And it's a lot of organizations too, like, 
for students, especially for the LGBTQ community. They got a lot of meetings and stuff you can have. They do a lot of stuff, y'all. It be so fun. I love it. But I hope I answered a lot of you all questions. I try to get more of the questions that I know I want to know if I was um coming to the school because I did want to know a lot of this stuff, man. The videos I seen didn't show me. Y'all know I keep it real. I ain't going to sugarcoat nothing. This school straight is what you make it. Surround yourself by positive people. Don't get no mess. Don't get no drama about no little boy. It ain't worth it. And my suggestion is, if they ain't your kin folk, don't room with them. Because everybody who room with one of their friends from back from high school, they fall out. And I'm a living witness. People are gonna do stuff they're comfortable doing with you when they when they when they know you. So I would suggest you get a random roommate and put on like they let you answer questions about you know about yourself and, and they room you with a person that you know that's like you. So that's something I suggest. Don't room with somebody you know. Cause it's different staying with somebody. So I hope y'all like the video. You know, y'all can ask me some more questions. I'll make a part two if I have to. If y'all... <coughs> Ooh. God, leave. If y'all want to know more about the school or, you know, any little thing, if y'all want me to show y'all around, I can make a little tour before I go. About the school. It's fun, y'all. It's chill. It's a chill school. It's a chill vibe. Save up on your scholarship money. Start applying now if you're trying to go to school. But, again, I hope y'all like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back. Whenever I'll be back. I'm not even going to lie and say I'm going to be back in a, with another video because I don't know. Y'all, I'll be having to make, take mental breaks. It's the Virgo in me. I love y'all, I really do. Cause y'all be y'all y'all be supporting me for real. So just let me know y'all in the comment. And peace and blessings, baby. Period.